problems arise during the year long probation period, her felony charge will be lowered to a misdemeanor. The 16 and pregnant star will not serve jail time for the offense. The insider says Portwood is relieved, but overall really just focused on James. Um, and then a sep Glennon is a single father and a sole provider of James, a separate source tells us. All right, two things. Um, I know that this source had to have come from Amber. Um, so it's hard to know at this point what the actual terms of the plea agreement will be. Um, one year probation may or may not be on the table. We'll know the official details of what she's agreeing to when she actually pleads guilty in court next week. Um, I would expect that there would be more to it than a year probation. I would expect that there would be courses that she might have to take, such as like anger management or like drug and alcohol type, type stuff. I would imagine um, she might have to do um, like meet certain criteria of the probation to meet a satisfactory probation. So I'm assuming there's going to be more than one year probation. I really hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, but that's what her side is saying. But interestingly, I did reach out to um, a source connected to Andrew Glennon and I asked them if Us Weekly actually contacted them about this story and they told me no. And they said that the quote that Andrew Glennon is a single father and sole provider for James was taken from an email sent to them related to another story they were trying to <laughs> publish about Amber yesterday related to his record. And I think you guys read that you saw the stream yesterday where I basically was telling you what they were going to write um, because the source brought up a bunch of stuff related to Andrew's background. And then I read you the whole response from the source connected to Andrew. And he actually in that email said, is a single father and sole provider for James in relation to his salary for MTV, not in relation to this. So according to my source, no one talked to Andrew from Us Weekly related to this story. Interesting how these tabloids can spin things sometimes. Um, um, this is where we're at. So probation and some other stuff. We will not know the official parameters of this until next week. Um, she will be scheduled to appear in court if she accepts this plea agreement. And here's the thing, she has to actually sign it and then she has to go and she has to plead guilty. Um, I know from experience that just having the plea agreement um, offered and then going before the court and actually um, pleading guilty can, plea agreements can be withdrawn. So we'll see. It's going to be next Thursday on Halloween. She'll be in court. And at that time, we will actually know what the total parameters are set by the court for her probation. Um, but again, I'm guessing it'll be more than just straight probation. I'm sure she'll have some other stuff she has to do. Um, I did find it interesting that she said she's going to focus on James because the custody stuff was figured out yesterday. And according to the mediation agreement, um, her custody, she effectively gave up custody, physical custody, or agreed to give up physical custody, or Andrew was effectively awarded sole custody, 100% physical custody of um, James. They have, they'll share joint legal custody, but she will have no percent of physical custody. She will have the opportunity to have parenting time um, through guidelines through the Indiana Guidelines set by Indiana for children under three years old, which can include two days a week with three hour visits and one day a week with a longer visit, all contingent on the father, sole, um, sole custodian, Andrew, agreeing to the visitation. Um, that has also not been determined by the, the mediation. That will get determined in an evidentiary um, hearing later on in circuit court along with if she will get holidays, along if she'll get other things related to visitation. But it's actually not considered visitation. It's considered parental time. Um, so and it'll be supervised through a third party. And she and Andrew will have to coordinate all of that through the app, a third party app. Um, and they will not co discuss anything else related to, to um, just James. He will also not be allowed to film. And Andrew has agreed not to move until 
that hearing where the judge will decide what happens next. Um, <clears throat> Andrew still hopes to move to California if possible, but a judge will still have to determine what they're going to do with relation to that. Um, we'll see. Lots of stuff still up in the air. Last night, Amber was on a live stream. She was angry. Um, we have some, I have a really bad um, video grab, but it's about 14 minutes. Um, I know you guys like to listen to some of these, and since she streams in the middle of the night, I figured we could take some time. It's interesting because last night she was angry at me. Um, she was kind of, this was targeted towards me. So um, we'll listen to it and we'll go from there. Yeah, she talked a lot about me. So again, this is not the best recording. We're probably going to be more just listening to her voice um, because again, it's a, someone videotaped their phone. Which I believe should be mental health awareness week. Oh wait. Um, so. Nope, that's the wrong one. Hang on guys. She did. Sorry, I'm trying to do too much here. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. All right. All right, here we go. Not that important, and 
you also are not telling the truth in the majority of your statements. And it's just, I'm sorry that you are obsessed with certain things, but... I mean, every time that I see you, like, jump on your chair, like, all excited, you disgust me as a woman. Like, honestly. Like, at least I have, you want to say, people say this, people say that. Well, at least I have the excuse of having borderline personality, bipolar disorder, and having postpartum depression. What is your excuse for acting like a child, jumping up on your chair, and just sitting there and running your mouth on things that you don't know about, and it's not correct either? What are you going to do after the fact when I do a polygraph test, test, what are you going to do after the fact when you find out what really happened? What are you going to do? You're going to look like a fool. And here's the thing. My number one thing that I never want to do to people when it comes, especially in the media, is to make them look like a fool. I'm not going to sit here and try to make you look like a fool. You're kind of just letting, it, you're, you're letting things go, and you're doing it yourself. That's fine. You might have had this, 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 and this, but that's it. But there was a reason for this, 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 and this, and that's it. So, that's all I have to say about that. And, Maddie, what are you doing? I'll just show it on the phone. And I personally take full responsibility for anything and everything that I, I've done. Always. Always. There has not been one time I have it. However, so I just just I can't say it right now. Seriously. And I know you're going to do something because you're that obsessed. It's really like that. It's that disgusting. And I just, I don't understand the professionalism on any aspect right now. I really don't. There is none. I don't need to be a part of anything. Honestly, I'm making myself a part of this right now because I need to. It's just getting to that point that if people can make jokes, they can do this, they can do that. I don't care. I really don't. Like, honestly. But, like, I don't personally like people who just jump into people's lives, start talking about it as if they know exactly what they're talking about when it's a one-sided situation. I don't like that whatsoever. I think it's disgusting. I think as women, we should never be tearing any or anybody down and then sit there trying to say, oh, but I hope this and I hope that. Don't play because you know exactly what you're doing. You keep getting those clicks. You keep making that money. That's exactly what you want. It is what it is. Um, I don't know why you're talking about Team Mom right now. We're not talking about Team Mom. Um, but, you know, certain things I take full responsibility for. Other things, stop playing around because it's getting to the point where it's like, it's, you know, I don't even know. I can't say much. Sorry, guys. I really... I mean, I have to do something in order to just... I can't say much. So... That's not true either. Like, literally, there is so many things that are so untrue that it's like... That's out in the media that I cannot even comprehend. I have kept my mouth completely closed on and I will continue to do that. I don't need to do certain things. Don't want to. Um, and and that it is what it is. That's just the person that I am. Like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, this is easy. Watch this. Bye. Like, I'm 
over it. I'm really over it. And when I get to that point, and it's going to be what it is. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, you put your foot in your mouth. It's not my problem. It's not, it's not my issue. Sorry, like, what do you want me to do? Like, <laughs> uh, I'm still at This is crazy, Amber. You and do you and be happy. I am happy, guys. I have been doing nothing but working on myself. I go to a therapist once a week, I go to a psychiatrist once a week. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm trying to keep my head up. I'm not trying to sit here and put people down like others. I don't sit here and use my platform at the moment. I'm not doing that to put people down. What I'm saying is, this is my, me saying to you, you should have did your homework. You're gonna, you should have did your homework. You're gonna look like a fool. I'm sorry. And the professionalism on your end and the other person's end that I just watched disgusts me. Because if that ever happened with anybody that I was associated with within this, they'd be out. Even if it was a good thing about me. Even if it was a good thing about me. Done. So, that's how I feel about that. Um, but, you know, I hope that... I don't know. I just, I can't say too much. I really can't. And it's bad because it's like, it's like, hey, Amber, you need to watch this because this, this, and this. And I'm like, ah, once again, okay, watch it. Shaking my head majority of the time. Somehow I've got restraining orders. I've never had a restraining order. Like, what are you talking about? Um... Just absolutely insanity. I just, I don't know. The majority of what was said was actually so false. It's insane. And it's not even supposed to be spoken about. But you, you said, oh my God, wow. Like this, this is something that, like I'm not gonna let the media just sit here and bash me and bash me and bash me. It doesn't, not, it doesn't work that way with me. I don't, I don't let that happen. There's no reason for it. Don't feel bad. Seriously. And listen, this is what I say. This is what I'm going to say to people so far. Listen to what you want and believe what you want and then wait. And do what you need to do because that's all it is. Or don't wait. Actually, you know what? Don't even wait. Like, what am I talking about? Like, I don't care. Don't even, I don't care if you ever listen to another word that I have to say about it. But just know Because I'm in a mood right now. Oh, sorry, I need something. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. See, once again, like, you guys are like, God, what the 
honestly, this is horrible for me to say, but there's some really dumb people out there. But you're right. You are going up against a machine. Best believe that. For sure. Only this time, I'm not just going to sign that paper. See, everybody has this misconception that I lost Leah. No, I didn't, guys. I signed my rights when I was an addict going to rehab. And then ended up going into drug court and going to jail and things like that. I did exactly what I needed to do when I got out. For Leah, because she had been with Gary for a long time. It is what it is. As a mother, you're supposed to do what's right for your child. That's it. So... That's what I did for, you can hear the audio record. I don't care, it, That's you don't understand. And I can't say anything, so that's fine. Like none of you guys even know anything. Like you need to start looking up stuff, like stop, honestly. I love how everybody has something for mental health when you know nothing about mental health. Should I? All right. That was fun, wasn't it? I enjoyed that thoroughly. Um, so I guess she was like going online last night to get some support. I guess people had a lot of questions about the custody stuff that was um, out yesterday, I will put this out there that the information provided about the custody, custody agreement through the mediation was put out first by the Ashley. Um, she received the um, mediation agreement through a source and I was not the first one to put it out there. Um, I will also state that she said that she does not have any She's never had a restraining order. Um, I don't know if she doesn't, if she's like getting caught up on semantics, but according to Indiana court records, there have been a total of four, four orders of protection. Um, one in 2011 that was dismissed after related to Gary. Um, one for against James that was dismissed. One for Andrew and then a partially amended one for James. So she has two active orders of protection against her at this time, which is a restraining order. She said she's never had a restraining order in her life. So you can all restraining orders, orders of protection. There's a registry in the state of Indiana where you can actually look up everything. It's all in black and white. You can double check if you want to. Um, you just go to my Indy courts and you can see all of it there. Um, I'm not, quite sure what I've gotten wrong, but I am always open to anyone that has another side that they'd like to say. Um, I've really gone off mostly just information provided through the courts and through sources, and that's all I got for that. Um, I'm not super worried about that. She's going through a really stressful time, obviously. And I do think that these lives are being used as a way for her to get some support. And maybe she's just not getting that. Um, oh, and then she also said something about she did not lose custody of Leah. She did not lose lose custody. It was an agreement again, the same agreement that she did with, um, very similar agreement to what she's doing right now with James. So she was able to um, give Gary custody of Leah. Um, and in this case, She's essentially agreed to give um, Andrew full legal custody. Agreed. Mutual agreement. Um, so whether it's her losing custody or giving up custody or whatever, it's really kind of irrelevant at this point. Um, the custody of Leah is with Gary. The custody of James is with Andrew. Two children that are now out of her custody. She has joint legal custody for both children. 
Um, I hope that during this time, she takes the time that she needs to get healthy, um, to take care of herself. And really, the rest of it is just sort of nonsense, nonsense to me. Um, I will say that sometimes, um, I don't know if she's lost a lot of followers, to be honest. I have not really paid attention. Um, she's clearly not happy with me, yes. Um, I'm not really sure what a um, polygraph will really um, tell me at this point. If she's going to plead guilty in court, she's going to have to admit to some of this stuff. Um, she can have excuses for why those leaked audio has happened and for what happened on those she can have excuses for days i'm not here to judge that at this point um i kind of feel like the audio speaks for itself so i did think it was interesting that she said i don't have the authority to speak on anything or the qualifications to speak on anything that i'm really bad at my job I kind of feel like if I was really bad at my job, she probably wouldn't even know who I am. And I also would like to remind you that Andrew, Am, coverage of Amber encompasses only a small fraction of what you can find on Without a Crystal Ball. Today, for instance, we talked about ratings on Teen Mom 2. We talked about a organization that Leah Messer got involved with that is being noted as a cult. We also talked about um, 90 Day Fiance, Aladdin and Laura. We have talked about the Goslings. We talk about Unexpected. We talk about the Chrisleys, about Bad Moms. We talk about a lot of stuff. Janelle, Farah, um, Miley Cyrus. Hell, I've got some stuff on Taylor Swift. Random YouTubers. Um, people that think cabbage, like, cabbage will cure everything. Um, I've got a lot of content on this channel and I try to do a mix of everything. Munchausen's by Proxy, Susan Schofield. Um, I have done plenty of content this week. In, in, in fact, this week there were three videos related to Amber, um, but that was only because things happened, i.e. the plea agreement and i.e. the custody agreement. Otherwise, this week was mostly um, unrelated to her. There was stuff on Kale this week. Um, there was a couple on Lindsay Chrisley this week. Am I obsessed with Lindsay Chrisley then? Because I feel like if I should be obsessed with anyone, you guys, I would love to be obsessed with Lindsay Chrisley. I live for some Lindsay Chrisley Smackdown, you guys. I live for it. Ado yeah, adoption's gone bad. Natalia, exactly. Um, I'm just sort of like a... I'm like the fruit punch of YouTube. I've got a lot of different stuff on here. We've got lots of different stuff going on. It's been a very busy week for T. Very busy week. Um, yeah, this week we covered a new case for Munchausen's by proxy and a woman that was being, um, like, that was charged with murder. We just, we cover so many topics here. I refuse to be a one trick pony. I refuse to stick and put my hate, like I would hate to get so stuck on one topic that I couldn't talk about anything else. And to be frank, I can't wait for this story to be put to bed. I would like nothing more than to move on to another amazing content. There are so many amazing things that you guys have sent me all the time. Um, there are so many different YouTube channels that I would love to talk about. There are so many different like, so, you you guys want me to watch Out Doddered. You guys want me to add the Housewives. You guys want me to um, talk about the Duggars more. You're asking me to bring in the Bates. Um, you know, yeah. Like, I talk about the Duggars all the time. Am I obsessed with the Duggars? I am kind of obsessed with Ginger and Jana, though. I love Ginger's pants. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, and we have, we have Matt. Um, he's always fun on here. I did get the message about the blood root salve. 
I don't know if I'm going to do that, Trisha, because that will absolutely be not monetized. And those photos like literally gross me out to no end. Um, I wrote a bunch about um, black salve and it's so gross and the pictures are so disgusting. I don't know that I could do, stomach another one of those. Oh yeah, Sister Wives, LuLaRue, MM, MLMs. God, see, you guys are you guys are telling me all the things that we talk about on this channel. We talk about so much stuff. We love talking about cults. We've talked about Scientology. I know, I need to get into Out Daughter. Family Boot Camp, exactly. I love Family Boot Camp. Love After Lockup, seriously, my catalog of content is endless. I love Love After Lockup. What fictional TV shows do I like? Gilmore Girls, Gilmore Girls and Parks and Recreation. All right, you guys, I'm going to let get going um, for right now. I have to put my son to bed. I might be on later. Maddie Byer said he might join me later. If I come back on, I will let you know ahead of time if that happens. Thanks so much for your support. And you know what? Just be nice if you have to interact with her. Don't kick her when, her, when she's down. Um, kill her with some kindness. And Amber, while you're throwing bricks at me, I'm just going to take those bricks and I'm gonna build my house brick by 